Hello, everyone. Um, just a short meditation continuing on our uh, biblical analysis on election 2020. So that the way that the the Torah, that the that Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, uh, teaches the the right and the left political spectrums is like traveling on a circle. That the where where the farthest point on the right meets up at the farthest point on the left. So that's not to say that. Uh, so either either side is. It doesn't mean that either side is is the right way to go. But the farthest on the left leads to ultimately residing on the right. That's the way that, that it's explained. So the side of the right, like the, the split of the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom, the northern ki- kingdom was secular and the southern kingdom was remained religious. So that's that's like we have the left and the and, and the right. In, in today's in today's uh, political spectrum, so the right side is, is specifically generally known for uh, more of believing in God and and but the idea is is to to draw forth as we as we discussed with loving kindness the left to reside in in feel comfortable in on the right side. Like for instance, there, there's also soul roots that are left and right. So for a left soul root to be religious and, and observant, according to according to the Bible. So what does that mean? Is that the the person who is the the farthest left, making the the most uh, the greatest activist, the the, the greatest uh, making the greatest tumult, tumult, according to to our approach, is that that person has the greatest potential. To, to, to do a complete 180 and to turn around and to be the greatest advocate for, for believing in God and for promoting godliness throughout the world. And then we, we have many, many examples of this according to, um, according to different, uh, sages of Israel that their soul root was on the left and they became very great sages and, and, uh, leaders of, of thousands that perhaps the most uh, famous example of this is Rabbi Akiva. We had thousands and thousands of students and taught the, the greatest mysteries of the Torah, but his soul root was on the left. Also Rabbi Nachman of Breslov, one of the great Hasidic leaders. So we see that that to harness that energy, to, to, to bring it close to in the service of God, that this is this is the idea. Not, God forbid, to, uh, to ostracize the left. So, for instance, if, if we see... Um, Good-hearted, you know, with well-intentioned activists on the left, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, that there's something wrong there. It's just that we we have to to educate and to to explain how how all of these things can be included and incorporated in a a Torah in a uh, observant lifestyle, according to according to God's wishes for all of us, all creations of God. Both the Jewish people and then all the, all the nations of the world. So this is this is our task. Not easy, but again through loving kindness and through bringing close through through uh, pleasant wor- words that are pleasant, and also to through through teaching the mysteries of the Torah. For instance, we have a uh, Rabbi Ginsburg has a full uh, hundreds of pages book. On just the number 137, which is a, anyone who knows physics knows about the, the number 137. The fine structure constant, 1 over 137. So this is, this is also an, an, a way to bring people close, is through reason, through, 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 through learning Torah, that uh, they see the, the great wisdom of, of the divine wisdom of the Torah themselves. Just to hand them the book and have them read it for themselves and see. So this is this is also this is also one important way. Another good way is through pure and holy music. Uh, so there's different ways and approaches that are uh, in a way that uh, can be well received. And again, the, the left people that are, that are active on the left, we're talking about the good-hearted people, that uh, people that are searching for truth and justice, uh, but in a, in a good 
good natured, good hearted way. Um, so the, these these are the people that are could be the greatest advocates for um, for a godly way of life and teaching a godly way of life to others. Thank you.